what's up y'all welcome back to the channel so today i just want to do a quick video um so i was having issues with the seat uh the, the seat going down as you can see it's not once you put some weight on it it's it sags really bad so the sagging really aggravated me i i initially thought that i needed new cushion so i've been on a search for cushion and i was cleaning the vehicle up by 2006 uh, Silverado SS. So I was cleaning it up and I happened to look underneath it. And when I did, this is what I saw. So I saw that the actual spring and um, they call it a seat grid was actually broke. So I don't know if somebody flopped down in a chair and broke it or what they did. So what I decided to do was I went on Amazon, looked it up and sure enough, they, they make a replacement for it with new springs. So I have that. What I need to do now is to get to everything that I need, I need to take the top cushion off. Uh, you only have to take off this bolt here, this bolt here, and the cushion should slide off. So we're gonna try to do that and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna put this thing back together. All right, so I got the seat cushion off. I had to disconnect uh, two connectors and uh, these two connectors here. So this small one, that small one, this one I already disconnected. It actually goes to inside the truck. So uh, now all I need to do is actually take the cover off. And once I take the cover off, um, then we'll be able to get the spring set in there correctly. So let me do that and then I'll come back and show you exactly what I did. All right, so I want to come back and show you exactly what I did. Uh, so as you can see, all the seats were down like this and then just pull it up. What's happening is this groove right here is sliding in here. So it just slides in here. So all you got to do is pop that out. So what I'm going to do now is take the seat cover off. That way I can get to this, the, the back of this, and we can put that on the right way. So. All right, as you can see, I got this off. This just, if I uh, pop these out of the grooves, that seat came right off. So this is how it was supposed to be. As you can see, there's a, it's supposed to be a bar here that snaps inside of here, and all these are supposed to be connected. Somehow these broke, uh, and then it's connected down here with four springs that they go here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out. Uh, some people said they had to cut the new one to make it fit correctly, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and switch them out now and see what happens. So I'll be so I'm gonna show y'all a little pro tip with these springs. Um, as you can see, what I did is I got a Phillips head, a long screwdriver, it doesn't matter which kind. Uh, take it here and then do this and it pops right on. So that way you don't have to, you don't have to fight. So this is what I'm doing. I got it in here and just pull down and it pops right in. So that's my little pro tip to help you all out uh, for when you're doing this. So as you can see, uh, I got it all put in. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit these to bend them down to make sure they stay. But this is all nice and secure um, versus this that's all broke to pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start putting this back together and I'll come back and show y'all what I'm doing uh, as we go. So, all right. All right, so I got the seat cushion back in the same way you took it off. Just put it right back in. Um, as you can see, everything is nice and sturdy now. Uh, the seat cushion isn't sagging. Before it was sagging way below this. As you can see, it was cut right here. So that lets you know it was already past this and it's supposed to be nowhere near that. So the cushion itself is still in really good condition. Uh, turn it over. And before it was all sagging down, right now it's not. So I think we fixed it. I think we fixed it. So what we're gonna do now is put the seat back together. It's two screws and then we're gonna put it back in the truck and then we're gonna take a look at it. So I got it back together cleaned up this area that's full of stuff uh so now we're about to put the seat back in there so. now boom just like that we done so i already sat in it uh there's no more sagging chairs before you can actually see the chair sagging uh without even feeling it you can tell something was wrong so uh before you go and buy a new cushion just take a look under there just to make sure that your uh the springs are still attached and every nothing's broke underneath so if so then you may need to get that spring that spring grid to hold everything up i'll drop the link of where i got mine below and uh i'll holler at y'all at the next video peace <laughs>